Israeli minister admits to being a fascist homophobe, but won't stone gaze. Wow. Thank you. The country's public broadcaster, Khan, published a conversation between um, Smorich, let me wait, oh, fuck, I forget his first name, and a businessman on January 16th, where the far-right politician told the businessman that his voters would support him even if he works against the LGBT community. Smorich stated in the recording, quote, I'm a fascist homophobe, but I'm a man of my word, and added, I won't stone gays, and you won't feed me shrimp. He is heard saying that the voter supported him because he was, quote, the only one who didn't cooperate with the United Arab List and is safeguarding the land of Israel for their grandchildren. Since his comments went viral, critics have said that Smorch's beliefs contradicts Israel's reputation as the most LGBTQ-friendly country in the Middle East and North African region. The uh, Israel's former prime minister and current leader of the opposition, Yair Lapid, tweeted, quote, this reminds us of how weak Netanyahu is and how dangerous it is that he is kept captives by extremists. Okay, I cannot, I, you know, this is, I don't know if people understand how significant this is, right? We have the only country in the Middle East that was constantly used as an example for secular democracy and liberalism being possible in the Middle East, speed running in the opposite direction of progress, right? And they are, it's not an exaggeration to, t- to say that they are, Israel is turning, is becoming a fascist state. This is not an exaggeration, guys. This is not a drill. And the impacts on this is global. But, um, you know, Israel's, Abraham was accords and everything was was meant to bring a lot of stability. This is like ruining all of that. The effects on U.S. politics, the effects on Saudi Arabian politics, the effect on Jordan politics, the effect on UAE politics, the effect of Iranian politics, the effect of Qatari politics. All of this is all negative, and this is this is a very destabilizing. This is going to affect everybody, right? Um, but I want to. In the interest of putting a positive spin on it, the Israeli citizens are not taking this. They're in the streets. They're active. They are fighting this regime. And Netanyahu's popularity has dropped like a rock, right? And Netanyahu's hands are, you know, this is is becoming very um, difficult for him to operate right now. There, there is a there's a constitutional crisis. Um, within Israel right now, and I hope I hope this this administration suffers because this cannot this cannot just be accepted. Everything, women's rights are being challenged, gay rights are being challenged, democracy democracy is being challenged, the justice system, the ju- you know the way that the separation between the um, the judiciary, the way uh, branch and the executive branch is is being challenged right now. Um, Israel is moving forward because the way because the the, the courts in Israel are cha- have have limitations on what the the parliament the uh, the Knesset can do. Um, they, what they're trying to do is to make it so that if there's a majority ruling within the parliament uh, in Israel, it can it could it could basically go it could change the the court. It could basically override the decisions of the court which basically completely dismisses the independence of the of the justice system in israel like the the very foundations of how democracy is supposed to work is now being challenged by these far-right religious nut jobs and this is why i'm telling you guys but when i'm telling you that atheist activism right now it's not about just fighting religion atheist activism globally right now it's about saving everything that has made the world a more peaceful place since World War II. This is liberalism is at risk. Liberalism is at risk mostly by far-right religious movements around the planet. And we are not fighting for just like, oh, is there a God? Is there not a God? We're not just fighting for the right answers to these questions. We are literally fighting for the stability, the peace, and, pers- and the progress 
and the prosperity that we have achieved because of the new uh, liberal world order that we have achieved after the, we made these standards the norm across the planet. You know, so in many places across the planet. And that is now being challenged. And Israel is the center in many of these um, geopolitical influences. Israel is a very small country, but the norms and standards in this country affects everything. May I remind you that 9-11, 9-11 and the following invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq was about Israel, okay? That everything that said that, okay? May I remind you that a, a huge part of the electorate in, in the United States vote based on the the destiny that they want for Israel. Okay, so this this is a country that even though it's very very small, what's happening there influences the entirety of the planet. The, the world's superpower, its politics is 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 based on the lobby groups of this country and the and the destiny that a huge part of the voters that vote for the Republican Party, what they want is influenced by this country's politics and this country's future, right? And it's all going in the right, wrong direction. So I want to find ways for us to support atheists and secular activists in Israel. And I don't know how to do that. I've been, I made some offers to some atheist activists in Israel. I didn't hear back from them. But if you guys have any ideas or if you are somebody from Israel who's an atheist activist, please reach out to us. Okay? Let's see what we can do about this. This is very significant. Yeah. But anyways, do you want to add anything? You just took no. This is this is why we come to Atheist Republic. We come to Atheist Republic to listen, learn. You took the words out of my mouth. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so, so it was. Yeah, go go read uh, Bin Laden's statement um, about why they did the attack. All right. What's even more mm -hmm. concerning is that this psycho apparently has um, his eyes set on a position in the defense ministry of Israel. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, this comment from D did make me laugh, though. <laughs> what? See, stoning enthusiasts are disappointed. <laughs> 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 <Dude>. uh, <laughs> get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description